Hi everybody, it's Kathy Young here from the Local Business Network in Redland City. And if you're a business owner who wants to boost business profits and you want to find out how your personality can help you do that, then keep listening. If you're not a business owner, then pass this on to someone else, share with them because it could make the difference for them. Um, I had a really interesting chat with a business owner this week. Um, she was this, a business owner and she had two team members and these two team members were not getting along but they're both really good at their job. They've both been there for a long time. And the business owner was going, I don't understand. It, this keeps happening. What can I do? So we had a chat about their personalities. And I got her to describe to me the two team members that she had. And through a combination of facial recognition, facial um, actions with their eyes, their eyebrows, their mouths, their smiles, um, and how fast they talk or how slow they talk, we could determine that one team member was really high D. High Ds are fantastic. They get lots and lots and lots done. Get really fast action. Quick, we're moving now. We've got things to do. Jump on board with me. The other team member was a C. Really analytical, fantastic at problem solving. Get really complex stuff. Gets really complex things achieved. But she takes much longer to do it. Now, this team, the, the business owner was saying, I've got the, the, the one here who's saying, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. She does a good job too. And the one who's the C, the really analytical, the problem solver, the step-by-step -step taker, action taker, was getting super frustrated. So there was a lot of tension, a lot of friction. So now we've got complaints from the, the, the person who's the C against the person who's the D, and then the D saying, well, I'm just trying to get your work done. What do you want me to do? So we had a discussion and the business owner and I had to talk about her leadership because as a business owner, we all lead the team. Now, sometimes we don't have team members. Sometimes it's just us. But what happens is, as the leader of the team, once we know what our personality type is and then our team members, what their personality types are, we can then look at how we can best manage ourselves and then lead the team and manage the team members. Now, what happened was we determined that the D, Ds like to get things done super, super, super fast. So through their filter, when they see people taking a long time, they get super frustrated. Not that they don't like the person. It's just that they're going, come on, we've got a job to do. The C worker, through her filter, through her personality eyes and the, what she sees things through her perception, she saw the D is going, she's rushing. We'll make mistakes. We need to make sure we get things done logically and in the right process because if we don't, we're going to have mistakes that we have to fix up and it's going to take us longer. Now, they're both amazing employees. They're both fantastic. The business owner's going, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know how to stay motivated. I don't know how to motivate these two different people. These two amazing workers who just can't seem to get along. So here's what we're going to do. Next week we're going to hold, do some personality profiling with the whole team. We're going to go into the business, run, get everyone to do a personality profile. We use DISC. There's lots of, there's a whole myriad of um, personality profiles out there. We've researched and I've done lots of different ones and, and checked them all out. Business owners, DISC profiling is in, incredibly simplistic, simple, but it gives amazing insights. And it gives us insights into ourselves that sometimes we go, yeah, yeah, I knew that. But we'll see something, we'll go, oh my goodness, I had no idea. That's why when I say this, my team members do that. Or that's why when I ask this particular team member to do something for me in the way that I like, she just goes, oh, I can't be bothered. So learning about our personalities ourselves as the business leader first, as the team leader, and then about our team members, we can get a team that runs really smoothly because we need all different personality types. We need to ensure that we've got the Ds, the Is, the Ss and the Cs. We do need all four. And in every single person, we've all got four within us, but some are really predominantly high in, in one or the other. So there's no right or wrong here and how to work with her team effectively and then to lead them and speak to them in their own personality speak. So learn how to speak D and learn how to speak C and then the team members can do the same as well.
The team members can learn to see their team member through their filter. So instead of, all, because what we will do, it's normal, we all look through our own filter and go, well, that's how the world is. But there's a person on the other side who's seeing exactly the same situation, but they're going, well, that's not my world because from over here, it doesn't look like that. So it's going to be really exciting. I look forward to letting you know how we go with these team, with this um, new team. But if you want to unlock some keys to yourself, if you want to learn how to be a great leader, if you want to learn how to uh, sell more effectively and convert like a ninja, then personality profiling might be something that you need to investigate. And my recommendation is using the DISC personality profiling. Effectively, because you can do them all free online, but they don't come with a really effective debrief. So check out DISC. If you're a business owner who wants to stay motivated, who wants to boost business profits, give it a go. See what it can do for you and your team. See you next time.